Hello there, welcome back to some more Steam World Dig. In the last episode, we reached the third zone. And we're exploring. <coughs> exploring it, the underground depths. We've also got a treasure tracker. Captain Toad will be jealous. So now we can actually see where the treasures are on the minimap. Which means I can be a lot more economical with my time. Don't not having to build tunnels and stuff because I don't need to. I know exactly where the gems are, so I just go and reach them. Which is good for me. You can also get into a little spot of bother if you're not careful. Because it means I'm not digging the best tunnels in the world anymore. Not that the tunnels are the best anyway, but... They really won't be the best now. Judge my mind. Okay. And now we reached where the lasers were. So we can once again start. the next port call is to try and find a teleporter down here Never seem to get life when you need it. Oh, I forgot that those things don't block a thingy bobbala. But luckily I had no money anyway. Can I have some money please? Or health? Thank you. Need more water too. That ain't it. This one. And well, now we can see how fast I can really get down here. Yep, this is quite fast. Thank you. Right. Put this back and then I'll sort it out later. need water so I need to go find some water first. That's a problem. 
well not really, I can do this. Don't panic unless you need to panic. I think without the extra one, that big tank would just about fill my entire thing up. But now because I've uh, got the upgrades, it's better. in every instance of, of money and every purple square there's not a lot more I can do so as long as you're being sensible and don't forget the core mining principles I want to go across something, make a spine shack. Scared, you were scared. There's a teleporter. Wonderful news because I needed one. Hello, this is very nice. Just a bit more of cash. That's all I need. The true value of an item is never in the cost of construction. A ruby pickaxe. And a diamond pickaxe. For 700. I'll get the sucker punch later. Okay. Need to go this way. That one's going upwards. That's definitely going to get me killed at some point. Isn't it? Still shake when it's gonna fall. Yes, it shakes even though it's gonna fall upwards. I 
Meteor Rock. Okay. exists to be like a cool looking room. Ruby and some lads. See you later. Alright. Meet you a wonderful. I like these. I do like the fake walls, but obviously they're annoying to work with as well. Here's the next cave. Okay. What could you possibly give me that I don't already have, friend? So we're basically full up already. Just tells me I need the bigger pouch. This also just tells me I need a way out that isn't that way. Like that. Okay. We... Yellow. We sure can make use of this new ore. Hydraulic fluid. <laughs> Who is to your heart's content? It's by the gargantuan pouch. And the sucker punch to make my fist better. And I can get the hammer punch. Like I said, knowing where all the treasures are makes it a lot easier to get downwards because I don't need to dig as far around to get where I'm going. Three? Oh no, two. Okay. This will be for after we've destroyed things. Destroyed, but not by me, it looks like. Fair enough. Back off. 
as for going down later. Static dash. I can just straight up double jump now. And I can double jump off of wall jumps. Okay, good. in the slightest, but that's fine. Machines. Oh, the static dash hurts things too. Okay. dash into them. It hurts them. It's a full heal. It's not where the thing is, though. It's good to know that that works. Oh, this is where it is. You can do it jump into a dash. Sneaky sneaky. Thank you for the orbs. Right, now I'm just going to go get this last little treasure. Nine hundred squidolas in the pocket. Okay. Now that this next barrier is gone. Go down. for me. An Octanium? Ooh. The Avatar now. Of course this came out before Avatar did. I'm pretty sure. Make that up as well. And finally collect these up. So that's a way through. The 
double jump though makes the exploration a lot easier. Don't have to be worried about any turret anymore. I think I was supposed to be able to do that. That's fine. I'm right, getting towards the 800 meter mark, which is where it looks like I stopped. Let's see what this next one is. also this okay now it makes sense to do this right so yeah now it makes sense for me to get to a level and put a teleporter down now because I know I've cleared out everything before this you know so as soon as I get I'll go back get a teleport I'll actually buy one and I'll know that I've actually done a good thing here because I've cleared it out so I don't need to go down this section anymore it's just getting down here for the sake of it basically although getting out is quite easy I'm just like double tap jump Starting from the lowest possible point is easier. You want to more pots than all by now. How much more can you fit? A really good watcher I had in mind send, yeah, sending you the deed. Bang the caves. Hello. Smashing look, dear fellow. Bold and new. Nice to see displacement of the morn in normal what passes for fashion here. Diamond pickaxe. Hammer punch. Plasma Lantern, even more time in the mines, and Hydraulic Fluid, yes. And then I can uh, charge this faster even still. Okay, and I want to buy a Teleportatortron. Technology isn't dangerous in and of itself. How it's used is what defines it. That being said, the things down there give me the heebie-jeebies. If you don't know how it works, you can't know the consequences. What'll you have then? One teleporter, please. You remind me of a few people I met out there in the world. I'll tell you, no man I've ever seen has got this look. More of a soldier about your partner. So I'm going to go downwards more, and then when I need to come back up to sell stuff, instead of going up, I'm going to use my teleporter. And that'll be my teleport spot. Just getting down wasn't too hard. It seems a waste to uh, just leave. The fuck am I gonna get that? I wonder if uh, fully extendo. Yeah, it does reach. Okay, that's how then. Looking at these debts, I might have actually finished the game and don't remember. That's that's worrying that I don't remember it. Not because the game's bad, just because what's happened to my memory. In the olden days, when I was a kid, I used to have an incredible memory. I would remember, I used to be able to do like a school play and read the script in the car on the way to the performance on opening night and just know all the lines. But 
I can't do that anymore. You used to be cool, Joey. Yeah, I know. I really wasn't, though. I've always been a bit lame. Not that that's a problem. Just saying it how it is. Gravitonium. I don't think those lasers instant kill, but they probably hurt quite bad. Looks like there must be a way to kill them, but I don't know what it is. Dark matter. I know there's an achievement for getting a full stack of Dark Matter and selling it. Probably quite hard to come by. Which is why. just ray cast into the wall. It has a set length. Being selective, but I'm trying to save up for Dark Matter, so I'm kind of... risking a lot to try and get some. That's fine. Next one. Come on, Dark Matter. There it is. Right. Now I can leave. So, instead of leaving... I'm going to find a, this cave and put a teleporter right next to it. Probably should put it on a solid bit of ground. Like here. Because I could break it underneath myself and ruin everything. Top of the morning. Hello. Still more to mine down there? Damage reduction. Break it, you bought it. I didn't get the achievement, so maybe I misread it. Maybe it's like, get a full stack of all Dark Matter. Boost your heart's content. Super armor. And fathom bull tank. Damage reduction is what I want next. Okay. Alright. See you guys next time. When that's what we do, we go down to that cave and find out what's what. See you then. Goodbye.